Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome, 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 and welcome. Well, welcome. <laughs> in today's video, I will be showing you what's in my diaper caddy. So if you want to see all of those goodies, sit back, stay tuned, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you after the intro. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Are you laughing okay so somebody decided to wake up and join us paisley yeah welcome welcome and welcome <laughs> so as you can tell i had to do a shirt change because she threw up on me and my hair is kaput but we're still going to do this video life of a new mom and a youtuber right so what's in our diaper bag um i didn't think i needed this big uh diaper bag okay so let's just get into the main compartment that everyone should have right and that's the diapers the wipes and the ointment so in my first compartment that's exactly what we have now we're not particular about the diapers we use only because is this is gonna work the, uh, there we go <laughs> only because um she will be in cloth diaper soon ain't that right pepe <laughs> she'll be in a cloth diaper soon because she's in um a size one in the diapers now we have a big old box of those so <laughs> we are going to um use those up first and then we have wipes now we're not particular about wipes either whatever cleans the bottom she's not a sensitive baby as of now so hey let's just do what we can do <laughs> and then we have our aquaphor aquaphor we have our aquaphor um healing ointment now i use the adult version on myself when i get like chafings or rashes and now that my um breasts are starting to get uh scaly i guess you can say on the outer parts i use that as well not the nipple ointment but um just the aquifer on the uh, uh, outer parts because if you notice, when you put the ointment on and you have your uh, nursing bras on and it, it gets oily, okay? <laughs> so that's for the first compartment. Now the second compartment, let's just go to the clothes because the other one is pretty lengthy. So this is uh, all things nighttime, daytime, okay? Do you wanna uh, help me say it? <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um we have her we have our changing clothes in here so we have nighttime daytime and that's what i do to establish a sleep regimen i know it may seem like oh that's not gonna get her to sleep but when she feels them legs out she knows it's nighttime but when we put them pants on it's daytime and this is the time where you need to be uh up alert active taking naps yeah yeah <laughs> and you know that's just the logic that we're going with we have our manual breast pump and this stays in this bag because i have to keep on yeah this is what your milk go in <laughs> yeah yeah what else you want to say no okay can mama finish thank you so um so this is how i decided to do her daytime outfits now i found this so easy i put at least a week's worth plus one so eight days worth of um changing clothes per um change so eight daytime and eight nighttime and i already have them um fixed where their outfits so i make them together and then i fold them <laughs> and then fold it like this just so it can fit in there and I have multiple outfits like this. And I will give y'all a little tip at the end how I um, arrange my drawers for her so it can be just an easy pull, easy put. You know what I mean? So, and then the nighttime, we do long sleepers. Yeah. So, we cover arms at night only because we can't put um, a nighttime sleeper on her um, due to the fact that she wears her outlet. 
and you know you can't cover that up so i just put a long um put a long sleeve on her arms so she won't be cold and then just put a blanket on her bottom just to cover up her feet and it obviously works for her because she she's just like a mama okay sweating her head and then she's sweating her whole body i thought she peed on herself one time i was like girl but she was just sweating but it was cold in the house and that's exactly how i am maybe it's since i'm breastfeeding the hormones are going in to her body as well so she's kind of acting like her mom now if i'm talking too fast best believe i'm trying to get through this as soon as possible so this is benefiting y'all as well if y'all don't like long videos because i just know she's about to cut up yes i do yeah okay let mama be quick okay and so i have burping rags you don't like that okay we have burping cloths because she go through these like nobody's business. Yeah, I know. We're talking about you, girl. <laughs> and then we have her brush. Um, we only use this on wash days. Um, and if someone's coming over, we want to make it look kept. But we do not touch her hair um, because it doesn't need to be taught. You know what I mean? Like, let it free flow. <laughs> Just like mine is. You know, we're going to make it. And then I have her uh, bandana bibs. Just after feeding, I like to put it under her so she won't be spitting up on her outfit that I just changed. <laughs> okay. And then we have Mama. We are ladies. Okay. And then we have um, her nail kit. Now, <laughs> yeah, you know what this is for. She'll stick that little sharp nail thumb, uh, that thumbnail into my um, side of my boob when she's feeding. And I be like, girl, I'm about to toss you away. Yeah, I'm about to toss you away out the window, huh? Out the window. Okay, maybe not this time. <laughs> so let's move to the last compartment. And that's what we have the most of. And this is just her essentials for her body, her health, and everything else, right? Now my cats are trying to get on this bed. Get, 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 get. Yeah, tell my cats to scat. <laughs> so we have the uh, Mustela. I hope I pronounced that right. I am tough with words, okay? Um, and we use this for her baby acne. Now she has a lot of um, thumper bumps on her chin, <laughs> in her face. Mama, we don't do bad skin over here, okay? So I don't know who you got that from. Um. But they said it's my hormones. And so I've been trying to get it. I think it's the breast milk that's, you know, leaking on her face when it's. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, let's finish this up because you're getting restless. We have a thermometer. And this is just a touch and go. So. I don't see. Uh, yeah, so my mom got me this. I don't use it often, but when I do use it, I just make sure, you know, if she feel a little warm, I'm like, eh, okay, just making sure you're good, girl, because she be stressing me out. We have lotion. I don't lotion her every day. I only lotion her when necessary because, again, she is a climate type of person, so we don't need lotion. She's just like a mom with that. Um, got to have germex in your thing um because i know some of y'all don't want to wake up and wash your hands after you change your baby diaper i'm one of those i'm gonna just keep it real with y'all i'd be like this in my sleep wash them hands with germex and i go on back to bed um we have a box of pacifiers aka soothers so this is the true pacifier to me and the other two are soothers i got them from a vent um, and then this one is some brand from Amazon and she really likes the soothers when she gets restless and she don't want to eat, but she also wants to suckle. Um, I prefer that than her thumbs. So, and she's trying to do a little thumb action, um, in her sleep, but I kind of do this. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. We don't want that. That does something to the teeth. Okay. We have our nipple cream. And I just stopped using that uh, only because we're out of that phase of like latching wrong or um, not feeling those things anymore. <laughs> so uh, nursing doesn't hurt anymore. So I don't use that cream, but you know, there's times. There are times. Ain't that right, mama? Cause you be just, I'm like, girl, you just ate two seconds ago. Yeah. Yeah, you think it's funny, but I be crying. 
So in our first bag, we have um, a, a manual nasal congestion thing. So there was one time she had coughed up, uh, spit up some, whipped the thing out so quick and I, you know, sucked it right on out of her nasal because I did not want her to uh, dry drown. Um, some of y'all mamas know about that. If you don't know, look it up. Uh, we don't play these games, okay? Yeah, you ain't gonna fool me. Boop. And then we have her uh, Aveeno products, um, pretty much for eczema therapy. She doesn't have eczema, but just because she have those um, hormonal bumps, I like to, you know, put it on there after I put the um, cleansing water on there. So um, I won't list these products in the um, description only because there's a lot of them. However, y'all can, you know, I'm, I'm saying them. <laughs> I'm saying them, but I will uh, show y'all real quick what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the little hand thing. Can we do? Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Also, we have um, in our green baggie castor oil. So sometimes when, bre when you're exclusively, exclusively breastfeeding, they kind of don't go all the time. And sometimes they do. It just depends on the baby and then the hormones in the milk. So um, sometimes when I feel like she's straining or stressing to relieve herself, I just get a Q-tip, swaddle, uh, swaddle, swab some castor oil in there and just gently stimulate it on her rectum area just so it can encourage her to go. Uh, we don't use this as often no more um, because we did start using the Wendy's um, by uh, Frida Mama, Frida Baby, something like that, Baby Frida. <laughs> and we only use those at the last resort situation. Like when she started breaking down and getting them crying tears because she like eh, trying to push it out. Oh, baby, no, we ain't finna let you struggle. Mm -hmm. Mama won't let you struggle ever. Okay. And then this is all things tummy related um, that she digests. So we have a supplement, um, a probiotic, and that is cultural, cultural baby. So the growing thigh, and it does have the uh, probiotic supplement with vitamin D. And then we have gripe water. So after she feeds, sometimes she get hiccups. Hey, they be hurting her because she be uh, uh, uh. Yeah, you be acting crazy, be scaring mama. So we don't let you struggle with that. Um, And then lastly, we have alcohol. Alcohol! <laughs> we have alcohol wipes. And this is just for... I don't know. We used to do the, for her umbilical cord, and I'm just so used to it being in there, so I keep it in there for just in case. Yeah. And that's it, guys. That's all we have in our diaper bag. Um, Now that I think of it, I may or may not, just depending on how I feel, because obviously, you know, she is barely making it through this video, and we're 12 minutes in. Ah, it's supposed to be short, right? But um, if you have any questions, comment below um, and I will talk to you there. But if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell below so you can get more of me and Paisley. Ah, girl. Nope, that ain't cool. <laughs> um, more videos to you from us. And thanks, guys, for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>